Hello. Um, welcome. Welcome to this new endeavor that I'm trying to embark on. And I hope that I do well and become very successful in it with this new YouTube thing. This is like Introduction 101. I am definitely a virgin to the mic as far as YouTube is concerned. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Angela. Handle is known as Princess. Um, and I wanted to definitely come on here to introduce this new endeavor of a YouTube channel aimed at um, older single women who are battling in the areas of maybe contentment, who possibly saw their lives going in a different way, who wanted to get married, who wanted kids by now, and just don't have it. They have everything else in life, uh, but just don't have those particular things. Or just, just particularly the, the older single black female, or females in general. Um, and this is what that YouTube channel is for because I'm not going to sit here and act like I have all the answers because I don't. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm an expert at this because I'm not. Um, but there's definitely a need for like an outlet for conversation um, starters to happen in the arena of this. Um, you have YouTube channels that's talking about the older black woman and pretty much put her in a category of washed out to dry. You have other handles that's, you know, talking to the uh, females, but they're 20 something, 30 something, and I'm 40 something. So it's like I wanted to be able to look at a channel and see somebody that looks like me who is in the same arena as me. They call our generation Generation X. But who's in that arena and we're having those same plights, those same interests of topics and concerns and just level of um, mindset. And so what great way then to develop a YouTube where possibly other women in the same genre and the same age category can come on here and discuss this topic. What tools are you doing? Uh, how are you feeling right now? Um, like in the age of the quarantine, right? We're quarantined right now, 2020. Who knew, right? We're down, we're going down the half slope of the year. Uh, but the beginning of the year, <laughs> the upward hill slope was, uh, the upward hill battle of 2020 was definitely a doozy and took us, um, off character for a minute. We, we were shocked to see what, what was ahead and didn't see it coming and being a single black female to be quarantined I've definitely uh, had to learn a lot about myself um you I, I've had to learn that hey you know this is a big world and you're in it almost kind of like not necessarily alone, but alone because I'm in this, I'm in my home alone, can't go out, can't do anything. A different, different look at life during this quarantine phase. Now, I'm a very outgoing, I'm, I, I consider myself to be an introvert slash extrovert. So, um, I like to be around people. I love to go out to eat. I love trying different restaurants. I love live jazz. I love comedy shows. So I just love in entertainment and enjoying life. But I also can be an introvert because I was raised as the only child. So I can, I can, you know, be by myself and be content. So this quarantine thing didn't necessarily take me off kilter where I'm like depressed and going out of my mind because I don't have nobody. No, not for me. I've been able to kind of like, it's forced me to sit home and just think about life in general. And so um, think about me and where I've come from and where I'm at and where I plan to go and where I want to go. 
uh, I won't say that I've actually put in the work to improve during this quarantine because I haven't did it as well as I want to. I've had some things to kind of shift my mindset a little bit that's kind of distracted me, of course, but I'm going to get back on it. I'm going to get back on it. 2020 is still here, and I will end great. This is 2020. It's still my year, you know. Great things in store, great things happening, great things going on. So I'm good, you know. But even with that, just having to understand how to deal with an a quarantine mindset that, that we've never had to do before. Working from home, not leaving home. Can't leave. Can't leave home. I said, can't. Woo, I said that. My glasses are not quicker. I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway, just shut in. For the count. And I'm like, wow. I'm sorry, y'all. This works for the sister. ADHD is kicking for real. Anyway. Um, but yeah, this this has definitely been something to learn. I've def- I've been really into my word, trying to do Bible study every day. Um, so that's something that I did. I'm gonna note thing here that's really for teaching, but I've been doing my Bible. <laughs> been put my bible scriptures in there i've been i have my bible here so as soon as i walk in the house i pretty much try to just sit down and start bible study i usually i've been doing it by going live on my periscope handle that's been working out not consistently but it's been a step in the right direction so again trying to get into my word more uh, trying to spend time with, with God more, um, understanding my purpose, uh, understanding what my purpose, I, to be honest with you, I don't know, I still don't know, I don't, I don't know my purpose, um, I heard a pastor say, you know your purpose when, when you know that chicken thing that just bothers you to no end, I mean, it just gets up under your skin and you just, it just irks you to the core and you want to see a resolution. You want to see something change. You want to be that possibly that change agent because you know uh, the solution tools to get that resolved. He said that's usually your passion. I kind of, you know, was leaned into a direction to possibly understand my, my passion. But, um, I'm still searching. I'm still searching. So this quarantine has really helped me to just kind of focus on that and gear my energy towards that. Uh, Being a single older female, um, I've been through a lot of cycles uh, where I've had the relationships. I've been in relationships that didn't work. I tried to be in relationships that I knew wasn't worth it. But trying to make it work because I've put it, I put in too much energy and time. So no, we're gonna make, we're gonna make this, make it. We're gonna work this out. Um, now I'm in the understanding of if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. You know, let it go. I uh, went through the stages of uh, just living life day to day, um, not really having a goal or plan in place, but know that you want better for your life so you just kind of just swifting you know in life without a target or goal so you usually hit a target or goal without really knowing it and then you know it's there but now being in my 40s I know that you, you, if you don't have a plan you plan to fail so when you ask those questions of where do you see yourself in five years that's relevant. Where do you see yourself in five years? Because five years ago, would I have saw this? To be honest with you, no. But like I said, just swift through life. Therefore, uh, becoming a first-time home builder, I always desired it. And God made that happen last year. Did I put a plan in place? To be honest with you, no. And I'm not saying that that's the right way. I pretty much just relied on God and started, you know, you know, God, 
open this door, Jesus. I just, I'm depending and leaning on you. And God opened that door. And I did start working on things toward the end, such as trying to build up my credit, trying to uh, save some money here and there. But that was like a, a, a year, you know, if not 10 months to where I was about to, you know, have to move out of this apartment. So I knew I didn't want to move into no more other apartments. I wanted to move into a house. So let's get this ball rolling in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and God came through. But still, if I don't plan, I plan to fail. So that was a struggle because God is like, you know, I'm going to come through, but I'm not going to make it easy because, you know, did you really plan for this? You know, and, and that's my struggle. That's my plight. And I know I'm not in this alone. So please raise your hand if you're with me. Um, it's, it's just... It's just a whole new ball game. But again, this is another introductory video. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to be here um, taking on this journey. And I promise you, I will have it more organized. I'll come on here looking a lot better, <laughs> a little bit more put together than like I am. Uh, but it's all, this is all new for me. So just work with me. But I did want to just provide that avenue um, for females in my position or like me who just want to have a, 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 a place of conversation and um, discussion. I would like to uh, give an email out uh, for those who would like to possibly send me questions um, or topics that, that you all would like to discuss. Um, hold on a second. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's like they know when you like live. It's like really. But anyway, uh, I apologize for that. But I would like to definitely give a uh, email address, and uh, that email address is Janaya. That is J E N E I A. Four seven the number forty seven at yahoo.com. Again, that's Janaea forty seven at yahoo.com. J E N E I A forty seven at yahoo.com, and I will get back with you um, with whatever questions that you have, any questions that you may have personally. Hopefully, I can try to answer. Like I said, I don't claim to be an expert. I'm not. I don't claim to know it all because I don't. But this is a platform where we can all come together, express our concerns, and have those conversations with like-minded individuals. And there you have it. That's what this is. That's where the birth of this YouTube video is coming from. And that platform is the single black older female. And your desires moving into the future where do you see yourself going what have you desired where did you see yourself and where are you now and where again do you see yourself going right so I gave out my email address um again y'all this YouTube is gonna get better I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it to where hey email gonna shoot across contact number gonna shoot across it's, it's gonna be on. It's gonna be on. Just work with me. We gonna put as we as we move forward and put God first. All things work together for the good of those who what love the Lord. So anyway, with that, I just want to thank you all for chiming in with me, and I will see you on the next go round as we step into this journey. And other than that, as I try to say and will always say, I'll see you on the other side of the journey.